Kenyon Barner, the Oregon Ducks senior running back, not a bad afternoon against USC. In fact, I don't know. He could have run for 400 yards if he wanted to. But uh, the Oregon Ducks running back, he joins us now. Have you looked at the game film yet, Kenyon? We watched a little bit of it yesterday. Okay. <clears throat> How enjoyable is it for you, knowing the day you had against USC, to sit there during film? You know, it hasn't even really set in yet. Um, I'm the type of guy it takes a while for things to set in. Uh, I think it's good that way, you know, so you don't really get caught up in it. But um, I, I know it, you know, it was a not only for myself, but it was a tremendous accomplishment for our team. Any trash talking going on during the game with USC? Oh, there's, <laughs> there's a ton of <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but give me a sense of what was, how could they say anything to you? Um, I kind of was wondering, but, you know, you find ways. Um, short yardage gain or tackle me in the backfield, you know, <laughs> have a few words for me. I got called a traitor a few times. Uh, was told I committed treason. So, you know, they found ways. Did USC offer you a scholarship? No, well, they came on after Oregon offered me. Um, after I'd already committed to Oregon, I started talking to a couple of coaches, but um, there was never an offer on the table. And if I mean, I wanted to get out of California anyway, so it, it was the best move for me to leave. Why'd you want to get out of California? So I get away from my parents. I mean, as bad as that sounds. What? <laughs> but, <laughs> as bad as that sounds, but, I mean, I needed to get away so I could mature and so I can grow up so I wouldn't be so dependent on them. You know, um, I needed to leave the nest, so to say. How did they feel about that? Um, my mom didn't want me to leave at all. She said, you sure you don't want to go to school out in California? Uh, there's a community college, college Riverside community. She was like, you can go to UC, uh, RCC. I was like, no, I think I'm going to leave. But I don't think the education or, you know, football would be the same. Uh, at, at any, at what point did you realize just what kind of day you had against USC? Oh, at the end of the game. Um, I wasn't really sure what I rushed for or anything like that. It was at the end of the game. Um, someone at came up and was like, man, you rushed for 320 yards. I was like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> In the option often, I mean, do you know when you're getting the ball? No, because everything's a read, so you really never know. Um, I mean, there's certain plays where you know you're getting it, but, um, you know, nine times out of ten, you don't know. Is that good or bad? It can go both ways. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it can go both ways. I mean, I, as, as a running back, obviously, you always want the ball. But, you know, it's always good to see when you have guys like Marcus and Josh and Braylon and Cole Ireland, you know, doing things with the ball. It's always great to see. Ever tried to pull the ball out of the quarterback's hands? Maybe once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> How much did it benefit for you to sit? Because you had to wait for this moment. And you're behind yeah. Michael James. You're, you're you know, behind a very good running back. I, it was tremendous. I mean, I couldn't have scripted this any better. Um, you know, the way that I was used in the past few years, I, I couldn't act, couldn't have actually been used better. Cause it allowed me to grow. It, it allowed me to mature not only as a, you know, as a man, but as a football player as well. So being able to watch Michael and go through, see him go through things that he went through and how he reacted to different situations and how he ran the ball, you know, I learned a lot from him. He's Kenyon Barner, the uh, Oregon running back, senior joining us, Dan Patrick Show. But you went there, I think, as a defensive back. You weren't even a a running back when you got to Oregon, were you? That that is correct. I don't I don't know what they've seen in my defensive back <laughs> skills, but well, <laughs> they brought me here as a DB. Well, maybe they didn't see anything in your defensive skills to make you then a running back. Maybe so. <laughs> could, would you, if you played a little bit of defense, do you understand that you could then win the Heisman because then people would look at you and go, oh, he plays both ways? Have you asked Coach Kelly if you could play a little bit of secondary? I have not. <laughs> you want me to ask Coach Kelly for you? Yeah, you do that for me. You let me know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> that offense, do you think that that would be successful if you guys try to do that in the NFL? An NFL team tried to run your offense? I think so. I mean, you see spots of it. Um, you seen spots of it last year with Tim Tebow when he was out at Denver. But um, their coaches aren't Coach Kelly, and they don't have the mind that Coach Kelly has. Um, you know, I've always said that Coach Kelly is a genius. When it comes to football, you know, the things that he creates, he'll create a play on the spot and we'll go out and run it and it works. So I feel like when you have the proper player, proper players and then you put Coach Kelly's mind behind those players, anything is possible. Do you know your stats right now? I don't. Do you want to know? Sure. I got you 1,295 yards and 19 touchdowns. 
pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. It's decent. Okay, but what's your goal? My goals are high. My goals are extremely high. For like two thousand yards? Would you be that's, satisfied with two grand? I, I'd be. I'd be satisfied. Let's use. That. I'd be. I'd be okay with that. Give me the defense you want a piece of right now. The Cow Bears. Oh, you don't want the Cow Bears. Yes, I do. All right, well, you get them this week. That's that's who I want. (laughs) Okay, all right, so you get the Cow Bears. But isn't there a part of you that says, we hear this SEC stuff all the time. You want a piece of Alabama, don't you? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. (laughs) (laughs) You're a senior. Look at you. Look, you're a veteran. You avoided me like you did the USC defense. But but you're a criminology major. Yes, sir. Okay, what are you going to do with that? I want to get involved with the FBI. I've always been intrigued by that. You know, it's been for years now. And I, I find myself watching Criminal Mind, CSI, you know, all those different shows. Um, First 48 is just it's something about it that kind of keeps me extremely interested. And, in. you know, it's kind of a competitive field. You know, you're competing to stop crime or whatnot, solve, solve different cases. So me being a competitor and playing sports all my life, I feel like that's the perfect thing for me to go into. But have you talked to anybody? With, I've talked to a few people. Like LL um, Cool J. Have you talked to him about maybe, you know, somebody say, can I get a cameo? If you win the Heisman... I would think LL Cool J should be able to get you on there, on the show. You didn't know I talk to LL Cool J on a daily basis. Oh, you do, huh? <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that an NCAA violation or something? It might be. It might be. Who knows? There's so many rules. Hey, it's good to visit with you. Congrats on a big, big uh, game against USC, and good luck against the Cal Bears. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, Kenyon Barner. He reminds me of Maurice Jones-Drew. The voice sounded just like Maurice Jones-Drew. 